So in this video, I want to show you some magic. And the magic button is this one. This is a UK keyboard with a UK input. And I want to show you how to get to the vertical line symbol. Just have in your mind where the location of this is in the UK's keyboard layout. And when we go to the American keyboard layout, you should try to find it at the same location, even though symbols are different. So this is American keyboard layout and the symbols is all over the place, but this vertical line matches the UK keyboard's layout and it is above the enter sign. If your enter sign is the other way around, sometimes it occupies this place and it's shorter this place, that button might be in here, just next to the enter to the left side of it, not to the top, but it would be the same button as this. So to enter the vertical line is tricky. Why? Because you need to hold the Alt, hold the Shift and press this button and then you get the vertical line symbol. If you press on its own, you get the hash symbol. If you press with the Shift and, and that, you get this interesting symbol. I don't know what it's called. And if you just hold the Alt and press and you get backslash symbol. So just to give you a demonstration, what does Alt actually do with your keyboard buttons? I open a on-screen keyboard, and this is for UK's keyboard, but you will have similar effect on any other keyboard such as US keyboard. If you go to your on-screen keyboard by pressing Windows and typing keyboard, you should be able to open an app called on-screen keyboard. Once you open that app, hold your Alt, right Alt, and you can see the various symbols that start appearing by just holding the Alt. And if you press them, you could then achieve various different symbols. I think this is a trick that many people don't know. So I hope that you find it helpful. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.